Hello, Macy here. I promised you a video how to make no mods missiles for your stock KSP ships. I tried to figure out a definitive, easy to follow guide on how to do this, but unfortunately, like most things in KSP, it will require a bit of fiddling before it works exactly how you want it to. This is VTOL Isprit Mark V. I'm just using this as a template, although some of you may recognize her. The first thing you need is the small radial stack to coupler. Make sure you've got snap to angles on for now. And just place that underneath. Now you're going to need some separatrons. Okay, make sure you've got the angle right before you put it on, the orientation. And then it needs to be right in the middle of this decoupler at that point there. And once you've got it, just snap the angle up by five degrees. Now once you've got that, go to the other side and do the same thing. Make sure you've got the orientation right before you put it on, if you can find the right key for it. And again, snap that angle by five degrees once it's actually on there. It can be a bit fiddly. That's what you're looking for. There. Snap the angle again. Make sure that's the opposite way from the other side. Now that will create spin and it's that spin that gives you the accuracy okay so once that's done make sure you've got all of this in the same stage the separatron and the decoupler and then for now turn the ship on its end just because it makes it easier to test on the runway okay so that's the first one on and let's give it a go okay so now we're on the runway I'm going to fire the missile off with space and then I'm going to immediately flick to next target so we can see exactly how f straight this is um, flying. So it's not bad, it's almost in the middle, but it is veering slightly to the left, if you can see. So back to the design board. Now because it was veering slightly to the left, I want to get that left hand separatron and just move it slightly back. And then hopefully that should give us a little bit more thrust on that side and correct it. So once you've done that, back out onto the runway and check it out. So let's see if that's fixed it. Now you see that's much better, that's bang down the line. You can use the centre of the runway to just check how straight that is. And that is pretty much bang on. It may take a little bit more fiddling than that, that did get lucky. So the only thing we have to worry about now is the fact that it's going down, it's, it's dipping down, which is giving that arc. So there's one easy way of fixing that. So if we just turn this back round grab this missile in its entirety and just shift that angle up by five degrees so it's looking like that and let's test that okay does this work much better much better okay so now the final stage straighten this up again grab this missile on symmetry and turn off snap to angles and just place these missiles where you think the balance would require it so for Isprit it's about there I think and let's have some fun okay put the gear down and let's test these missiles quite important to place them near the centre of mass because it will affect the way your ship flies. They're quite lightweight but not negligible. A VTOL design is obviously perfect for this because of its stable firing platform but it will work on any ship. So I just want to line this up best I can and let's test these missiles. Off they go. Direct hit. So that is how I have 
overcome the problem of weapons in stock parts. I'm sure there's many other ways of doing it and if you do find other ways of making missiles and so on I would like to hear about it. I am interested. So I hope that helped. I hope you can have fun with that and uh, bye for now.